Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 99 of Ocean Block. <laughs> and I've been into a lot of trouble <laughs> between episodes. Oh man, did I really get into it? Okay, so let's go check out um, what I've been up to. We don't need to fly. Um, <laughs> I got this area repaired. I got the reactor rebuilt uh, and, and uh, replaced a little bit further back. So hopefully we won't lose anything else if it goes again. <laughs> um, I got uh, the water pumps set up. Uh, they did need power, so I hooked a little bit of power up to them using the, uh, the carrot farm or the bio reactors <laughs> um and these guys are yeah, it's completely filled up now i got a little bit of fissile fuel in there um i'm not turning it on yet because i don't know that i'm ready i do have all of these hooked up um and hooked up into the solar neutron activator and that's where all this green sparkly stuff came from <laughs> when I broke this it had some polonium in it and uh, yeah that I guess I forgot that the polonium uh, was radioactive I thought once it got to polonium it was stable so uh, but when I broke it, the polonium spilled everywhere and caused it to be radioactive, and I died from radioactivity poisoning. Um, I was trying to make a hazmat suit, but I didn't have any red dye. The only way I have to get red dye is to turn beetroot into red dye. And I was I had radi radiation poisoning, so I kept eating. Um, and every time I would put it in my inventory to turn it into red dye, it would just eat it all. <laughs> Even though I had steak, and I, I tried positioning the steak in my inventory ahead of the beetroots, but that didn't work. It just kept eating the beetroots at first, <laughs> before the steak. So I don't know why, but, uh, so I just had to die and get the... The hazmat suit on i'm assuming that if i came over here again i'd get radiation poisoning uh but i made the hazmat suit and i made the little geiger counter and that's what's ticking uh and it gets louder the closer i get to where i dumped it i think it's like right right around here yeah here it, it's going crazy <laughs> okay but now it's all hooked up, uh, feeding back into solar neutron activator, so we have something to do with the waste. And I have uh, uh, the output on the bottom on this side and on the top on this side, so it would be easier to access the, um, the pipes to adjust them to output uh, instead of trying to do it through the, the middle there so um, and I went ahead and hooked these up I've got uh, the pipes pressurized tubes for uh, the steam to get output into here um, and then the vents will uh, pull out the water as it con condenses back or as it condenses back into water, it will be pulled out and put in back into the reactor. And yeah, I don't know. Um, waste tank, heated coolant tank. I don't know why it uh, got a current burn rate. I don't know why it got so hot so fast. Um, but yeah, it did. Uh, so maybe we might not want to set it up to, oh, the max burn rate is only 26. I gotcha. Uh, so we might want to do, um, 
maybe five. Now let's say 2.5, 2.5 rate limit. That should make it work a little bit, but not so much that it causes it to heat up. Um, I don't have a way to turn it off automatically. Um, that's what, oh, I never did remake the RS latch. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'll know not to exit out and I could just hit scram. So let's give it a go. Temperature stabilized at 402. But look how fast the water is going down. Let's turn it off. Did we? Let's let's see if we produced any waste over here. Yes, we got 96 millibuckets. It takes a thousand millibuckets to make a polonium, and we need to get the way to uh, turn that polonium into something too. Um, polonium, no, it's polonium. Polonium. Um, we need a pressurized reaction chamber on here. I'm very excited by the way. <laughs> I just turned it on, it didn't explode. <laughs> um, so let's do something else real quick. Because uh, I want the water to build back up, and I'm thinking I might put some more um, pumps on there because that does not seem to be uh, keeping up at all. So we need a. Pressurized reaction chamber, and I do not have that automated. Pressurized reaction chamber. Um, control click. So we need an enrichment chamber. Let's see if it sees it from there. There we go. A pressurized reaction chamber. Now is this used in anything? Can you upgrade this? Does not appear to be able to. Okay, so that's all I wanted to know was could it be upgraded into like a factory? Um, so let's put it right there. Look, it already went automatically into this. Um, that is sweet. Uh, okay, so the back is out. Input red. Fluids, gases. Gases and fluids is input red. Okay. Um, so now we got to uh, use fluoride dust. Oh, I think that's why I wanted the fluoride dust. Didn't I? Didn't I make a bunch of fluoride dust? Yeah. Well, it's not as much as I thought. Uh, so, oh man. I might put a network receiver out here just so I don't have to run cable all the way over here. Oh, I'm gonna need 
Uh, so many of these things. Okay, transmitter. And then we need like a card. Network card. All right, let's just plop it. Actually, don't want it right next to it. I want it like right here. Yeah, and then we smack it. Did it change it? Yeah. Okay, you just gotta right click. So now we gotta go hook this up into our network. should be hooked up um, so let's go see yes it's lit up so now I need to get an exporter over here uh, like and I'm gonna have to find a different tool because this draconium one when I break stuff about 70% of the time I don't get it back so um, that's no good so we're gonna need some fluoride dust there we go so now um, I need to get an importer let's just get get that hooked up oh I'm too far away um, import it and port it back into the system as the polonium. And then we just need one cable. One cable to hook that together. Okay, so this is already configured to come in. So items come in through the left. And we want it to go out the bottom, actually, not that side. Oh, yeah, and we do need to give it power. Um, One thing I, I need to do is I need to teach this to make a flux point. Because um, I found that my power stuff doesn't interact with mechanism very well, but the flux networks, uh, it does. It does work with it, so. need those. Like there we go. And so you got power now. It's got power. And as long as the reactor is on, it'll start getting uh, polonium. Oh look, okay, so our water looks like it's filled back up. And it looks like it's still cooling down. Um, what I want to do though, before I turn it back on, I want to get a well, not a pumpkin. A pump. Uh, let's go ahead and make three more. Uh, Cause these only take um, power from like one side. So I need to, 
when I laid it down I was up against that block so maybe if I put it out like this well there's some lighting glitch okay so if I go like this yeah up back here. So I just get my where's my uh, power cables? Oh, when I, I thought I put the barrel flare lantern back down. I guess I didn't. Okay, there we go. And I need. I don't have any power cables. Yeah, I do. They look just like the pressurized tubes, though. All right, so those have power. Uh, now we need some of the mechanical pipes. And those automatically feed into it. I don't have to adjust it, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I thought this was already full, so I guess it's filling up the pipes. Oh, I guess it's full. <laughs> That's a lot of water that can be stored in there. Um, I just don't, I don't know. We might have to lower it down some more. I don't know. Uh, um, or another solution might be we might have to make the reactor bigger. Um, which I would make it probably taller and just... Uh, Maybe one or two taller uh, because I think the smaller re the reactor is, the higher the temperature it, it gets. Um, so we'll we'll try it again. If this water doesn't help, um, I'll have to probably increase the size. So let's see how it goes. Okay, the temperatures. Oh, there it goes. Took it a lot longer before it started going down, though. Okay. So let's scram it again. Um, yeah, I I guess I could uh, make this bigger. Um. No, we want the fission reactor case. Oh, I have some fission reactor casing. Um, so let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger and see if it helps. I need to get a new a new tool. Get my Paxil back because this this doesn't always return my items. Like when when I broke all of the the waste barrels, I only got forty back. Uh, and, I, and there were 50. So <laughs> that's kind of weird. We gotta break these off. Okay. Um, so I wanna take this out. didn't want to do a, a huge reactor if I didn't have to, but um, that, is, that is a thing. So we'll go up two more. Hopefully that'll be enough to uh, make the temperature more manageable. And then we'll get also a bigger reservoir of water. Oh. 
Um, okay, reactor glass. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna need some more reactor glass. Okay. Now we gotta make uh, some more of the, um, what are those guys called? Fission fuel assemblies. Awesome, okay. Now we just need to raise this up. to see if that glass is there. <laughs> I thought I didn't put it on this layer over here, but I did. I just can't see it. Awesome. Almost there. Okay, um, do I wait for it to, I'm pretty sure it'll be immediate if we, <laughs> if it's gonna start draining or not. So let's, let's see how it does now. Oh wow, it's started to drain already and the temperature isn't as high. doesn't feel oh I know uh, one of the things that would help was if we throw some upgrades in the new ones okay. uh, so if I do These are all energy upgrades, so...
All right, how are our other upgrades? Are they done? Yes. There we go. Speed upgrades for you, for you, and for you. Um, and then we can do <laughs> that all over again. I wonder how long this radiation is going to last. Oh, I'm not putting it in the right doodad. All right, there we go. Now it should fill up a lot faster. Um, so we'll need to see again it's, it, it does seem like it's filling up significantly faster. So let's try it again. Still not enough. So apparently that's even too hot, um, and the water just can't keep up with it. So maybe we should lower it to 1.25. All right, let's uh, let's try that. a little bit of power in there. Hmm. Doesn't appear to have produced very much power at all. 664,000? I guess I'm not leaving it on very long at all, but... <laughs> um... Yeah, these are... staying completely empty. Is, um, that is pretty worrisome. How are you supposed to get enough water to keep it cool? So let's see what happens if it runs out of water. Does the amount that it produces, is that enough to keep it from overheating? I don't know. Um, it's not 
using very much fissile fuel. It is taking it quite a long time to drain down now. Maybe if I put another three pumps on there. start shooting up wow okay Whew. that's crazy um dude it's like all empty over here but if the power went up what? Oh! You see that dude trying to shoot me with a harpoon. Polonium doing? Did that make anything? <gasps> We're up to 404 millibuckets! <laughs> oh my goodness, I gotta figure this out. Uh, we'll make some more, I will play with it some more in between episodes. I'll make some more pumps and see how many it's gonna take to keep up with this. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.